Hi, welcome. Today you're going to learn about how to create a client portal within ClickUp. It is a quick and easy thing to do, so stay tuned. Hey there guys. Okay. All right. So normally my baby would be with me and uh, she's not with me today. However, I wanted to show you guys something really quick and easy to do within five minutes to create a custom client dashboard in ClickUp. Um, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. This is my demo place in ClickUp. If you don't know what ClickUp is, I'm sorry, let me back up. So ClickUp is a um, project management task management tool. Um, it's used for anything from doing sprints or just tracking clients. I use it as my CRM, but a lot of people use it for different things. I think that made sense. Did it make sense? Mm -hmm. So ClickUp is actually used for task management. People use it also for project management. There's a ton of different usage for ClickUp. I primarily use it for my CRM, which is my customer um, relationship manager. And I use that for all of the things. So I have them come in here and see tasks or submit tasks and do all these fancy things. In this video specifically, I will be showing you guys how to create a quick and easy class client dashboard. All right, so I'm gonna hop into it because I literally am doing this one in five minutes. I normally have my baby, but she's not gonna be here tonight. All right, so what you wanna do is make sure you first have access to dashboards. It is not on all plans, but if it is on the plan that you're on, then you're in luck. What you wanna do is first add a dashboard. I'm gonna name this one client dashboard, or client dash, let's keep it cute and simple. There is going to be a pop-up that comes up to show you that, hey, you can add widgets in here. You can always learn more, but I'm just going to hop right into this. There are featured widgets that you can use. They're pretty much self-explanatory. This is a task list, so anything that's within ClickUp that has a task list, this will be what you use to kind of pull information from there, calculations, all of the things. It does show you, though, um, when you cannot do certain features because they're on different plans. Um, what I'm going to do is something so basic. I'm going to use the text block, which I'm going to call welcome, and I'm going to say client, right? Now, I would normally put the client's name there. There are tons of different commands in ClickUp, and what I'm going to do, because I want this to be custom, I'm going to go down, go down, go down, and go to attachment. When I click that, you can either drag that file in there, I'm gonna browse my computer, and I'm going to add the file that I want to use. Let's use one of the banners that I created in here. Is it in here? All right, no, all right. So I don't have the banner that I wanna use in here. Oh, it's probably in one of these folders. All right, let us do something quick, Marie, quick. Make it quick, make it easy. All right, so I don't have what I wanted to use, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Just for test, testing purposes, I'm gonna use this. So let's say that this is gonna be your welcome banner. This is what you would normally use on the welcome banner. It looks crazy. You can customize the size. Now, keep in mind that if this were an actual banner, it would say welcome, it would say your brand, it would have your logo, it'd be fancy, right? That's what you wanna put there, and that's pretty easy to put there. Um, and I wanted to show you guys that, but it just isn't working out for me right now. Um, and what I'm gonna do is add another um, box. I wanna do a text block box again, and I'm gonna say all of the things. I actually like using this term, all of the things. It makes me feel like all of the things are just operating. I'm actually going to be taking some information from my other one. So I'll be copying and pasting it from my other workspace so that I don't have to manually type all of this out. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put my office hours. I want to do some of the nice fancy things. I'm going to show you as this copies and pastes over. So, oh my gosh, there's tons of stuff in here. First off, I want to show you what mine looks like quickly. This is what my actual um, welcome dashboard looks like. And this is what I'm going to show you how to create pretty quick and easy, right? Now, in ClickUp, you're able to actually create buttons within text boxes. 
you would do that by simply using another command and I'm going to do it on the, another line command you can either start typing and it can type in button when you type in button then you can label the button and actually add the URL this does not have to be a outside button it could also be an internal link for ClickUp as a form or whatever the case is. So I've done those a few times here. Um, and then, oh, I, I pasted this a few times as well. Um, but then you can add all the other information that you wanna add. I've added things like submit a task because I created a task queue that I wanna show you guys because that's definitely a five minute video. But I also added another link so that I can upload tasks into ClickUp that I'll show you guys when I do the task queue. They can also schedule a call. Now, you can also embed a call um, feature in here or a feature of um, an actual calendar in here. I didn't do that because I didn't want to, but you can. It's a pretty cool feature. What you can do is go ahead and go to the embed section. There are custom ones. You can embed all of these fancy things here, but I'm not doing that now. What I want to do is I want to pull out the time tracker. Unfortunately, these things are on the business plan, which sucks. All right, cool. Let me just show you from mine right here. Um, what you will do is you would add a widget. You would go to the um, time tracking widget area and then you can select any of these items here um, i'm on the business plan so that's why i have access to it and i'm just going to show you guys what it looks like so you have the option to rename it then you also have the option to show the time range and then you have the option to do grouping if you want to do it by user and by list you could do it or whatever you choose here then you have who wants um who's exactly going to be seeing it or what person is it filtered to you want to show biller the billable amount and the people is who exactly are you tracking like doing the time report for so if i'm just looking for my time reports and i'm going to add this widget then the widget is going to add here it's going to show how much time i've actually been tracked in clickup by a task and they will say okay if i were to filter it i can filter it by whatever i wanted to but if i wanted to customize it and say okay by user and then by task then when I go and save this, now this is going to show me the task that I actually tracked time on. So it's a pretty cool widget and you can remove widgets, you can resize them. I always add for my clients a dashboard um, chat with us. It's just a chat box widget. And so if you type it in, it's a lot quicker and easier to come up, but you can just type in chat. And if they are a view only client, they'll be able to still see this um, and communicate with within this chat box. They just can't do anything else. Um, it's pretty cool because when you finalize this, this will be how it looks. It's pretty much the same thing, but it just doesn't allow you to customize any of the fields or any of the boxes. They can also extend or expand the boxes to make it bigger. Um, and it's honestly one of the best tools that I've used um, so far. And the free features are pretty limited, but as you can see, there are tons of different options and widgets to use in here. All right, this is pretty much it. I'm gonna stop here. If you guys wanna see another video on ClickUp, um, please stay tuned because there will be one. And I will be showing you how I made a custom form inside of ClickUp. And I wanna show you what I'm talking about. What I did as a brief disclaimer is I created a task queue for all of my clients so that when they come in here, they'll be able to go ahead and fill out a form. And once they fill out the form, then it will be dropped into a task list. It's pretty simple to make, but a lot of people don't know how to make it. So stay tuned and I'll be able to show you. Thanks.